Mr. Bulb, good to see you. Um, hope this Tuesday finds you well. You know, you once told me something I, I, I haven't forgotten, which is if I can only uh, bottle you, Ariel, bottle little bits of you and package you, you know, it'd be such a beautiful thing. So it has stayed with me so much through all these years, uh, just throughout my creative, strange, romantic travel pursuits. Um, and I have a lot of other reflections on that we'll save for another time. But just consider this a little package of the bottle you wanted. I just want to share some thoughts. It's been a while. It's great to see you, my man, even in this medium, which wasn't my first choice, which eventually I'll get to. We were wondering if this is safe. Probably not, but we wanted Oops, icing my ankle. See, I'm a fragile, you know, I'm, I'm a fragile person. Right? We're all we're all fallible in this world. And I guess I just want to start by saying, um, you know, one thing that, that you and many others along my path have helped me uh, realize and get to uh, in life is just the, you know, the pursuit of truth in everything we do and honesty. And obviously it's something I live with very deep and, and, um, and you know, consider this a little dose of that, just for perspective for what it's worth. We all have different strengths in this world, like, and I think part of my own journey has been acknowledging despite all the areas I um, succeed or, or excel in, I should say, I have massive shortcomings, man. Um, you know, or I'm just not as good as other people, like in many, many things, you know? You, for you, you, for instance, you toast me in Frisbee, ultimate Frisbee, you know? You might even be a little taller than me, I think, maybe by an inch. On certain days, you're probably more handsome than me, man. You got you got a lot on me, and I think we all do in this in this world, you know. And um, no, it's just some reflections of like growing up as a little brother. You realize the millions of ways of which you know you don't excel where others others do. To be clear and honest, which is the spirit of what this is all about, I don't want to make this video, man. I'm eating a banana because I'm exhausted. We just bald in Venice, which we missed you at. This was not my first choice. I'd rather just talk in person. You know, I'm here every month, off and on talk about the past, the future. I'm a fan of, you know, just, just hashing things out and letting actions speak speak uh, louder than words as they have done for all of us over these many years, right? We're, we're not about what we say, we're about what we hold and what we know in our hearts. Well, they say sunlight's the best disinfectant. And again, just a reminder, this is not my medium, man. I'm camera shy. I don't really like film that much. You're the expert, but this was not my idea. I didn't want to do this, but I'm just being told that stories are being told about the past, about the foot race, uh, that are maybe a bit of a fabrication. So I just want to, once and for all, hopefully be honest here about where we are, what happened, and um, just tell the truth, man. The truth is important. The truth is freedom, you know, for all of us. I, uh, I'm just one man myself, and I think my commitment to the truth and helping others see the light where they choose to see opacity and confusing vision, confusion, um, is because I have so many times been maybe where, where you are or where others are. And, and, uh, airplane. By our own uh, confusion, I only raced you in the first place as a gift to help dissolve the ego that I saw so clearly vibrating, you know? This is, you're not the first person to think they could beat me or, or think that they're faster than they were. And again, it's not about how fast one is or we're all gonna be old men barely hobbling. Yeah, the truth will set us free. Um, day of the race, again, I'll, I'll remind you of it. Uh, beautiful sunny day, not unlike this one, sunny California. We were down by the water, several people were there, which makes it so much more interesting that you're telling stories about what didn't happen. Um, but if you recall, exploded out of the gate on the sand. And I do, uh, what I often do with people, I let you hang with me for a little bit once I realize, you know, it wasn't gonna be much of a race. I let you hang with me for a little bit longer than I normally would because you were so, so confident you were gonna toast me before I, you know, started running and left you in the sand. I think you remember this. I, you know, felt a combination of good, bad, like a cruel, I, I turned around and I just started running backwards because I wanted to communicate that life is full of surprises and I could beat you running backwards, which I did, with my eyes closed, which I didn't. My eyes were open because I was looking at you laughing. So um, again, you know, probably just to make the point too much, and again, this is my own ego talking, I kind of let up a little bit as you were running towards me um, and eventually let you get almost to the point of uh, the end of the race before I slapped Jason's hand, barely walking at that point. It wasn't the first time I toasted someone in such an unceremonious manner, and it won't be the last, man. And I swear to you, it's not a part of me I love, but I only do it 
because I feel like it helps all of us grow when we can realize like where our limitations are and where our reality you know meets illusion in that and, and I just know the gift of speed is one I've had by no doing of my own I don't take credit for my athletic prowess I really don't and again I hurt my ankle today in basketball there's a million reasons ways I fall short but um, I uh, I feel like this like then is an attempt at a gift of saying like can't beat me in a race, you never have, you probably won't, but if you would like to do it again, we can. I expressed this when I was trying to wiggle out of recording this video to our, our dear friend here. It's a forming black eye from basketball today, by the way. And this is not a challenge for, I'm not challenging you again. I'm just saying, if you ever want to run around or race again, we can. I'm in LA once in a while, but I don't, you know, I don't think we need that. I think we've outgrown that. I think you know what happened and we know what will happen. And it's not about who's faster, or who's better, or who's taller. Um, you got a great jawline, man. You know, you got a lot of things on me, um, but running uh, full speed sprint up the mighty shores of, of, of Venice isn't one of them, and never has been. So I miss you, man. I'd love to see you one way or another. And I, I think if you could just uh, grapple with the truth and spread this when you seem to be sh sharing your falsehoods um, with many people that I don't even know about, you know, you would be, you'd open yourself up. We'd all open ourselves up to all possibilities that the truth in, in, endows and um, uh, forces us to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be, you know? Follow the truth, believe in the truth, earn the truth, spread the truth, know the truth, and possibilities, of the sky is the moon, man. It's all, it's all there, it's, it's limitless. I gotta go finish this egg salad. One love, only through understanding what we are not, could we dare to imagine and explore what we are and who we might become? You know what I mean? Not that good at skiing. I'm a pretty terrible golfer despite my attempts and I took a class once, terrible golfer. I'm not even great calculus, man. I bust my ass off in school. I like squeeze out an A minus. Not that good at math, naturally. There's many things I'm not great at. Um, and it's, I continue to learn them. It's like the humbling part of growth and being an adult, you know? Learning the world, being humbled in a million different ways. But one thing I, I you know, do know is I'm faster than you. And um, it's not, a, again, it's not a choice. I didn't ch choose to beat you in a foot race. I just did. I didn't choose to be fast. It's just, it's just like the w way the universe crumbled. It's not my fault. I don't, I don't think I should end on the outcome of the race. I don't think I should end on the fact that I beat him. I think it should end on positivity, man. Love, you know. So it's about what's next, you know. It's about our potential for infinite races and infinite outcomes. You know what I mean? Positivity, positivity. I think you'd appreciate that. And yet, Jay, you know, to be clear, I'm not absolving myself of, of the responsibility um, entirely of the confusion around this. Um, or of his confusion, or, or of all the untruths he's, he's been telling himself and, and others all these years. It's like this beautiful, ironic pickle that, that's not lost on me, um, I've been reflecting upon. It, that my attempts to deliver a more profound lesson right towards the end of the race, by, by letting him kind of catch up a little bit with me and, and, and come close to the finish line before I, before I crossed it, by attempting to give him and us this gift of, of, of showing with my feet that life is more than this binary nature of winning and losing that that sport sometimes suggests it is um and my attempts to to make it, things feel more even for him to 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 present the illusion of keeping things close i accidentally let him have a, this little wiggle room in, in his mind to think that he'd actually won um or at least enough ambiguity of the finish to have him tell the story he'd won to himself and, and others and, and in doing so um I, you know i feel like i robbed him of, of I may have robbed him of the opportunity of losing with grace, of learning to be a good loser, a great loser, um, and most importantly, of, of accepting defeat, which is a big part of life and growth for all of us, right? I, I feel bad for this, that, that you know, in, in all these years, he's taken away the wrong lesson, which is that he's fast, or no lesson at all, um, potentially. And yeah, like maybe it would have been better just to demolish him outright um, and leave him in the, the dust so there was no confusion in his mind at all about what happened and, and, and maybe I should be more discerning about where I try to teach, try to dole out mercy and, and share lessons that, that I've learned along the way. And, and, and this whole thing is like a cautionary tale on, on taking mercy on others. But I don't, I don't know, I, don't, I 
find that hard to believe, I, or at least I don't want to believe that fully, right? Like, A, maybe we wouldn't have been here today, where we are now, uh, if I had done that. Um, but B, I guess I just want to believe that, that all of us, and, and, and he and I, and you, and, and everyone can see things as they are, and, and accept the gifts when they're given and presented, and not see things as they, they aren't, right? But maybe that's just naive of me. It's not a race, you know what I mean? It's not really about the race. Life's not a race, it's journey kind of thing. It's just the irony of this whole thing. I'm not that good at skiing. <laughs> <laughs>